Ratch, happy birthday. I'm very sad that we can't congregate live, perhaps at a club or a bar or a backyard to celebrate you and your birth. So this is the next best thing. Shout out Tyler for your love, for your bride. Um, in the words of my grandmother, this Kova virus is just really taking over. And I'm very sad that it's destroying our ability to celebrate you face to face, but I'm looking forward to a virtual celebration this weekend. And in honor of your birthday, I am going to now give you this gift and recreate how we would celebrate if we were together. Okay, I'll savor you the struggle beyond that. But hopefully you feel loved because you are. I miss you. I'm so grateful you're my friend. And you know what? You and Tyler just throw on a prom dress this weekend, drink some wine, spill on it, spill on the floor. Enjoy yourselves. Um, and I look forward to hopping on Zoom to celebrate you too. Love you lots. Rachel. Happy birthday. I won't sing. Or maybe you want me to. Let me know and I'll send you a different video of me singing. Um, I'm very sad that we don't get to celebrate you the way that you deserve. Um, but hopefully these little videos will make you feel loved and special. Um, you are one of my best friends, as you know. And, um... I'm just going to tell you what I love about you, like we do around the table, and it probably will make you feel less awkward this way. Um, you are adventurous, you are kind, you are fun, you are not afraid to be yourself, you are quirky, you are so smart, and I love those things about you. Um, and, I mean, we've had a lot of adventures together, but obviously one of my top things was our trip together um it was super fun and lots of laughs and i should just give you the or recite your wedding speech again because that pretty much sums you up in a nutshell but um also your tinder story of the classic mix-up and the hairbrush story are my favorite rachel stories and us buying fish shasta and forgot the other fish's name but um those were great times and I love you and I'm so happy we became friends and I hope that your birthday is as good as it can be during a mandate during a pandemic and um as soon as this thing is done we will celebrate you properly so I hope you have a good day and I love you bye Happy 30th, Rachel. Um, my hope and prayer for you is that this year brings a renewed sense of energy and uh, and memories um, and uh, an excitement for you this coming year. Um, man, when I think back on our friendship, there's so many fun memories that I could pick of or pick from. Um, but the one that really stands out to me the most is um, back in our early days. Uh, before our prefrontal cortex was fully developed. Um, us just feeling like it was a great idea to hop on that party bus with all these strangers and just having the time of our lives. Um, looking back now, I'm absolutely mortified that we actually did that and think about all the things that could have gone wrong. And I like, thank you, Jesus, that we came out of that safe and healthy. Um, but there's no other person that I think that would have been as much fun with um and just how spontaneous uh how spontaneous that was and fun um when i think about one word that describes you the best i think about the word brave um and i use that in the sense where uh how you're just up for anything and and you and you come to new 
um, new experiences with such an open mind and an enthusiasm and an energy that um, is very captivating and it, and it brought and it get, gets other people excited. Um, so that's just one thing that um, I really admire about you and a quality that um, I strive to um, to have or to be more like that. Um, so anyways, on your birthday, I just pray that um, you just feel oh so loved and celebrated um, as you should. Um, looking forward to this next year with you and um, all the all the things that us girls will do together. Love you. Raquel, happy, happy Dirty 30. This is the seventh time I've tried to, to record this video. Tyler, I apologize for my tardiness. Ratch, I sent this in a little bit late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the good news is I have put together a list of 30 things that remind me of my girl, Raquel. So sit back and relax, folks. This is about to begin. Three, two, one, go. Wool socks, bouldering, dancing with only your hands, dancing with only your feet. Marching bands, the artist two chains, Canada, beanie hats, Toyota Priuses, makeup tutorials, bites, small dogs being held by children in photos, <laughs> wrinkled nose laughing, whistling asses, the Spanish language, horrible dating stories, bowling, sequenced pink dresses, hair brunches, baking sweet, sweet treats, mountainous landscaping, sandy beaches in Guatemala, young girls with bowl cuts, houseplants, the artist Lil Wayne, the game where you eat smashed baked goods off of the, off of the dirty road without your hands, <laughs> high-heeled Nike shoes, colorful tattoos, Empanadas, and last but not least, Mel Soderland. I hope you have a wonderful day, Rachel. I'm excited to spend time with you a little later. And happy, happy, happy 30th, my friend. Love you to pieces. Happy birthday, Rachel. <laughs> um, we know that we are on birthday celebration plans Ooh. C and D. And Isla's just going to be in this video with me. Um, but I just wanted to tell you some of the things I love most about you. Um, I'm going to start, not really at the beginning, but what I like a lot about you is all the different parts of your personality. Like how when we were first friends, um, you were my friend that like liked rap music and got like high top, not high top, but like high heeled sneakers you wanted to wear out dancing. Um, and now you're my most like avid outdoorsy, um, wear strappy sandals friend. But I think both of those parts are equally you. So I'm actually surprised that you are not a Gemini like me with the multiple parts of our personality that kind of come together. I'll read it, Isla. This might be the only draft I have time to do. So, um, they come together and make us us. I think that you are, um, compassionate and you are encouraging. You are very strong. Um, you handle things like your RA and changes at work and changes in family and changes in all different areas with grace and flexibility. Um, so you are strong and flexible. You are also a really good listener and have a good um, ability to kind of step into other people's shoes. You've shown me that a lot in conversations. And so I am thankful that you are just a friend with um, a big capacity to have empathy. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot more I could say, but um, I wish that we could hug and celebrate in person with beer and baked goods and all the things that we normally would, but I am looking forward to the ways that we can celebrate um, the wonderful you. I look forward to what comes next in our friendship, what adventures we get to go on next, and um, just laughing with you and learning from you as we go. Love you tons and super thankful for you. Hopefully you feel celebrated. This weekend, you are very deserving of celebrations. You are doing awesome. Life is hard and you are kicking butt. 
All right, Isla, can you say, happy birthday, Rachel? Happy birthday. Rachelito, where to begin? Happy birthday, Dirty 30. Um, cannot believe that it's your 30th birthday. I'm wishing you the best day. I am so thankful for you and thankful for the memories that we have together, whether it's living at Naz, Nazareth, or climbing an active volcano in Guatemala, or stealing pine glasses from Bauhaus. You make life fun. You don't take things too seriously, but you're also a great person who um, gives amazing advice and has a great listening ear. And you are non-judgmental, which is huge. Um, you brighten everyone's lives around you, including mine. Um, I miss dancing with you at bars. I know I talked with you this week about the fact that EJ mentioned that I have a specific face that I use only when I dance with you. And I think that's pretty special. Um, wishing that we could be tearing up a dance floor today. Just know I'm doing so in spirit. I hope your 30th is as special and fun and adventurous as you are and i miss you and love you mucho happy birthday rachel happy birthday so many people think friday the 13th is an unlucky day well i have something to prove you wrong and i'm gonna prove it right here <laughs> today what day is it it is 11 13 2020 your birthday now what is 2020 minus 11 13 you may ask well the answer to that is 907 yes now, if you take 907 and you subtract seven days, the span of a week, you get 900. Right, exactly. You're thinking, what's next? Well, take that 900 and divide it by 30, and what do you get? You get 30. So the day is meant to be, is meant to be your 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel. And 13, uh, th the 30th of the 13th is also significant because of the 2004 hit rom-com fantasy uh, film 13 <laughs> going on 30. So if you think about it, everything about this day being your birthday is meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Who's the, who's the actress? Hilary Swank? <laughs> no, it's Jennifer Garner. Anyways, <laughs> happy birthday, Rachel. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel. Hope you have a great day. I just want to thank you for taking one for the team and be the first of our friends to turn 30. And that, Ruby, uh, is when the pubis enters the vagina. You see, you see right here? No? You don't want to? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Rachel, I didn't see you there. Rachel, happy birthday. You've always been a great volleyball teammate. Uh, block Party 2021. We're going to Worlds this year. Woo! Uh, you're always so fun to talk to. I love your sense of humor. I love your positivity and your outlook on life. Um, I'm just generally impressed by you as a person. I think it takes a very special type of person to do the kind of work you do. And I think that's awesome. And happy birthday, Rachel. Thanks for being our friend. Woo! <laughs> I wrote down a few things that I'm hoping will make you cry, or at a minimum, make a small tear well up in your left tear duct. Let's go. I really respect how accomplished you are, professionally and equally, if not more so, in your hobbies and adventures. You value experiences, and through those experiences, you value learning how to be the best human you possibly can. And it's working. Some of these human qualities you've picked up are resiliency and positivity, which we have all experienced this year. Despite setbacks, a stressful job, and an overall scary year, any worries you may have are never evident when we hang out. Thank you for being a consistent beam of light for me this year. Dramatic. 
I can always count on you to laugh at my bad jokes or refuse to laugh at Tyler's. I can't wait to see what your sleeping bag 2020 fashion trends will bring next. Cheers to 30 years. Cheers, this one's for you. It's 2 p.m. in the afternoon and I am gonna finish this for you. Happy birthday, Rachel.